Hi. So here we have let a be the largest positive integer that divides all the numbers of the form 3 to the power k plus 4 to the power k plus 5 to the power k and b be the largest positive integer that divides all the numbers of this form where k is any positive integer then a plus b is equal to what? Okay. Now let's look at this part here first 3 to the power k plus 4 to the power k plus 5 to the power k a is the largest positive integer that divides all the numbers of this form. So let's look at couple of numbers of this form starting with the least possible value of k. Now k is a positive integer. So the least possible value of k is 1. So if we put k equals to 1 over here, we'll get 3 to the power 1 plus 4 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 1. Okay. So that will give us 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. So if k is 1, this number comes out to be 12. Now what if k is 2? If you substitute k equals to 2, we will get 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square. Now 3 square is 9 plus 4 square 16 plus 5 square 25. 9 plus 16 is 25, 25 plus 25 is 50. So when k is 2, the number comes out to be 50. Now a is the largest positive integer that divides all the numbers of this form. So even if you just check for two numbers 12 and 50, the largest possible number which divides both 12 and 50 is how much? It is 2. Only 2 divides 12 and 50 both. So a cannot be greater than 2, right? If in the first two terms itself only largest common factor is 2, obviously for the other numbers also the largest common factor can only be 2, it cannot be more than 2. It may be less than 2, it's possible that other numbers are not even divisible by 2. But is that the case? Let's check, are all these numbers of this form, are they divisible by 2 or not? Now this number will always be odd. This number will always be odd. So odd plus odd will be even and this number is always even. So if you look at this number will always be an even number for any integral value of k, right? So if this is going to be an even number always, that means any number of this form will be divisible by 2 and since here the highest common factor is 2, so the highest common factor for all the numbers of this type will be 2 only. These two were divisible by 2 and all the other numbers of this form will also be divisible by 2. Hence the highest common factor of all these numbers will be 2. So the value of a is 2 over here. Okay. Next, let's look at the other expression here. Let's first simplify this. We have 4 to the power k plus 3 into 4 to the power k plus 4 to the power k plus 2. Now this can be split as 4 to the power k into 4 to the power 2. Remember a to the power m plus n can be written as a to the power m into a to the power n. This is the property that we have learned from indices. So I can write this as 4 to the power k into 4 square. Fine. Now if you look at all these terms, 4 to the power k is a common factor. So bringing 4 to the power k common, we'll have a 1 remaining here, we'll have a 3 remaining here and we'll have a 4 square remaining here. So some of these three terms are 16 plus 3, 19, 19 plus 1, 20. So this comes out to be 4 to the power k into 20. Now if k is equal to 1, this number becomes 4 into 20. If k is equal to 2, this number becomes 4 square into 20. If k is equal to 3, this number becomes 4 cube into 20 and so on. So the factor of 20 is common in all these terms and the least power of 4 apart from 20 will be 1. So this number is always always divisible by 4 to the power 1 into 2, 80 right? This number is always divisible by 80. Any number of this form will always be divisible by 80 if k is greater than or equal to 1, right? So the value of b comes out to be 80 here. So any number of this form will have highest common factor of 2 and any number of this form will have highest common factor of 80 when k is a positive number. So we have a is 2, b is 80. So a plus b comes out to be 82. So the answer to this question is 82. Thank you.